Okay, we're back for turn number 13. We are dead for the uh, third time. So we have to use a healing surge. Now normally you start out the game with two healing surges, but the rules do say that if you want to make it easier on yourself, you can throw in a third one. It doesn't say you can throw in a fourth or fifth or anything like that. So at this point we're on the training wheels. So we're back up to four hit points. Okay, so we spring into action, and now we're adjacent to Strahd, so we can automatically do one damage to him, but that is a complete waste of time. We could move twice to get away from Strahd. Not even sure that that's a bad idea, because if we move here and here, let's see how, just see how, just let's see just how far we can go. So our movement is six, so we can move 12 squares. So let's count these out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So we can get this far away from straw. That's actually not a bad idea because then we can explore over here. And the other option would be to come over here, take down the ghoul with our auto kill, and then explore here or here. Would that be bad? <sighs> mm. I think that would not be a good idea because we would still be within one tile of Strahd. Let's move. This is probably not a great idea either, but I don't think the number of squares matters exactly. Let's count it out again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so we're going to move to this square. So that gets us a good distance away from Strahd, so it'll take him a couple turns to catch up. And, you know, maybe we can get to the stairwell. So we moved, we moved again. We don't get a treasure. We do explore. Hey, look what we have here. That is the secret stairwell. You know what? Maybe with that third token, we will escape on a technicality. Maybe. And it's a white one, so we don't even have an encounter. So it's a white tile. So, oh yeah, we still have to place a monster. I almost forgot about that. Got so excited when I saw the stairway. And it's a gargoyle. I don't think we're getting out of here. Actually, though, the rules say that no hero can control two of the same creature. Now, if there were, if, if there were two or three different heroes playing and a different hero drew the gargoyle, then that gargoyle would be under their control, but no one hero can have a creature of the same type under their um, activation. So this just goes into the discard pile. And we get a wraith, which is no better. Actually, I, arguably the worst creature in the game. But I suppose that would be apropos for the way this game has gone. Alright, so no encounter. Um, Strahd. Uh, Gargoyle. The Ghoul. Still around. And now a Wraith. Okay, so the villain activates. I think he just moves, but let me just check. Um, no, 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 no. Yep, moves, just moves. So, one, two. Oops, do that again. Bone pile to bone pile. That's Strahd's movement. Gargoyle, oh boy. Is he far, and am I too close to the gargoyle now? If it's within one tile, okay, good. I got scared there for a second. Gargoyle perks up, sees us down the hallway, but then just goes back to sleep. 
the ghoul then activates. If it's within, uh, if it's adjacent, it's not. If it's within one tile, it's not. Otherwise, it moves one tile. So bone pile to bone pile. And now the wraith. These are bad. If it's within one tile, it is. It's going to move adjacent and attack with life draining claws. You know what? We might actually make it out of this place. I think we. I think we're actually going to make it out of this place, just on a super minor technicality. So the wraith moves in, adjacent to us, and attacks with life draining claws. It's going to do damage either way, but we're at four. So 14, yikes, plus 6 is 20. So it definitely hits us for the full amount. So it, it deals 3 damage to us. Okay. Actually, I don't think we're going to make it. Because we have, to, we have to be on the stairwell at the beginning of our turn. And then and I have to use my next turn to move. So I don't think I'm going to make it. So the Wraith did its damage. And that is the end of turn 13. Tune back in for uh, turn 14, where I'm pretty sure we're just dead.